I'm going down to the Greyhound station Gonna get a ticket to ride Gonna find that lady with two or three kids And sit down by her side Ride till the sun comes up and down around me About two or three times Smoke the cigarettes in the last seat Try to hide myself from the people I meet And get along with it all Whatever people say, y'all Sing a song with a friend Change the shape of the man And get back in the game Start playing again I'd like to stay, but I might have to go to start over again Might go back down to Texas I might go to somewhere I've never been And get up in the morning and go out at night And I won't have to go home Get used to being alone Change your words to the song Start singing again I'm tired of running around looking for answers to questions that I already know I could build me a castle of memories just to have somewhere to go Count the days and the nights that it takes to get back in the saddle again Feed the pigeons some clay, turn the night into day Start talking again when I know what to say I'm going down to the ground station Gonna get a ticket to ride Gonna find that lady with two or three kids And sit down by her side and Ride till the sun comes up and down around me About two or three times Smoking cigarettes in the last seat Try to hide myself from the people I meet And get along with it all Go down with people say, oh, feed the pigeons some clay, turn the night into day, start talking again when I know what to say. to us this food, sun who makes it ripe and good, dear earth, dear sun, by you we live, our loving thanks to you we give. Blessings in our meal and our family and friends. Hi. Crystal here? Yeah? Who is that? Pearl? Pearl, get over here to me. Josh? Oh. Josh! Oh. Hi. Okay. Uh, no, sit down. Yes. Okay. Oh my God. 
Okay, take a breath. Oh. I am so sorry. Ah. I got to. Okay. I, I got to. Good. Uh-uh. Oh. Okay. No, I have All to. Right. I have All to. Right. I have to. I mean, you're going to have to get your foot amputated okay. if I don't. I'm going to take this one off. Yeah, that's not really going to do much. I'm sorry, it? Chris. I didn't. Okay. So I'm just going to put that right there. Yeah. Are you hungry? I think I'm good. I might just lay down. I'm okay. I'm fine. brother? Yeah. Did you pack your homework, honey? It's your four years before I met that guy, Kevin. He and his wife been there 29 years. Told me he had a week to live. Look at him out there. Still walking that dog and sending out mail. I gotta go, I gotta go pick up some checks and uh, bid on a couple more jobs. So I'm gonna leave my office tonight. Pearl, can you go get your backpack, hun? How long is he gonna be He's here? He's my family, Harvey. Well, he makes me nervous. He looks strong out. Well, I'm not, I'm not putting him out. Sorry. Mm -mm. You know, he could stay in the camper. <laughs> yeah. I like that idea. Thanks. That's a really good idea, Pearl. Whoa! Hey, I need my camper this Saturday for the retreat, all right? Perfect. Bye. Bye. Be careful backing out. Love you. Love you. that one there. I did that mailbox. You did the one on San Juan Pass? Yes, ma'am, I did. Oh, those look totally different than one another. Yes, ma'am, I know they do. I did them boxes a week apart. I want to make sure it doesn't look like a mailbox man come through town. Well, I was certain they were done by different contractors. That's because I handpicked the rock to match the house. My signature piece, two and a half foot by two and a half foot by two and a half inches thick, solid limestone, no seam. I'd hate to think that thing would ever leak. That's what I want. Let me ask you something. This ain't because we go to church together. How far off am I on that bed than that other guy? 
almost $300. I tell you what, I'm gonna do mine for $300 less, and I'm gonna start on Monday. How does that sound? Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Ma'am, I'll see you at church on Sunday. You have a mailbox on Monday. How you feeling? Ooh. I'm all right. Think you need to go see a doctor? No, Crystal. Okay. Look, I'm sorry I barged in on you. I should have called. Listen, Harvey's starting his own business, and it's it's been kind of crazy around here. Yeah, yeah, okay, I get it, I get it. I'll get out of your hair. No! I want you to stay. I want you to stay. I absolutely want you to stay. It's just that you can't stay in the office anymore because Harvey needs to work up there. So we were thinking about setting you up back here. This is great. Yeah. That way I, I won't be in the way. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Harvey needs it this weekend for a night or two, but we'll, we'll figure that out. Well, I appreciate it. I, uh, I won't be here for long. Yeah. <sighs> How's Karen? <sighs> what are you doing here? You know, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not feeling so good. Hey, can I, uh, lay down? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh my God. I'm good. Do me get you some water? No, I'm good. I just need to lay here. Are you okay? <sighs> hey, uh, how about I call a doctor? No, Karen, I, okay, Crystal. I just need some space, all right? I just need some space. Fine. to everyone except me. Oh, that's good for you. Come on up. You know, I'm kind of actually just getting settled here, so maybe some other time. Come on. I don't even know if that'll hold me. Look at this. Whoa. Remember, I'm black, you're red, like your head. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Here you go. I won. Don't 
town. Hey, we're having dinner tonight at 7.30. Can we expect you? Mm. Yes, we can. Settle then. Dinner tonight at 7.30. Don't be late. Hey, Kevin. Hey. We're thinking about you over here, man. Thanks. All right, hang in there. Spray. Hold on a second. Sorry. Let's pray. Earth you gives to us this food. Sunny makes it ripe and good. Dear Earth, dear Sun, by you we live. Our loving thanks to you we get. Blessings in our meal and our family and friends. Amen. How's school? Good. You learn anything? Yes. Anybody picking on you? No. You want me to come talk to your teacher? No. Harvey, what time is your is your meeting? Come. Gotta eat your vegetables. Why? Obviously, because it'll make your eyes look pretty. Hmm. What happened to yours? <sighs> yeah. <right. laughs> Meeting. Yeah, he's he's, uh, he's gotten religious since he started his contracting business. I just knew it was God's plan. If that hadn't happened to me, I wouldn't be here. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. Floyd? Continue? I was finished up. Well, you aren't alone. Jose? I'm from here. You notice how many Yankees there are here now? I got two of them in my family. A lot. That's all I got. Who's next? Jack. Something on your mind? Yeah, I, uh, I guess so. Um, I just don't want to sound like I'm complaining, you know, but uh, business has been uh, really down and it's got me in a heck of a bind. Financially, anyways, you know, it seems like I kind of bring that home with me and put up a wall and kind of come across as defensive and hateful to everything. And uh, I think it's just, I don't want them to know, you know, what I'm going through and just kind of shut down. <sighs> you know, it makes you feel like less a man when you can't take care of your family. You know, or at least the way that, that they're used to and you're used to. And, but of course, like I say, you guys know, I mean, I don't, I don't want to come across as complaining to you guys because y'all know the struggles in this economy and everything, but it's sure been weighing heavy on me. And I really need to get it out, so I appreciate you guys for listening to me. Thank you. I know exactly how you feel starting my own business and all. I'm feeling the pinch. But I want you men to know that if any of you need any work done at all, just let me know. No matter what it costs, we'll work it out. Let's take hands in prayer. Lord, thank you for these men. We thank you for making us in the likeness of you. 
give us strength to move from here into the opportunities you've placed before us and the blessings that you have ready for us. Let us seize those. Give us the strength, the wisdom. Housewarming. Oh, hey. I wasn't hey. Uh, really expecting company. I brought some wine. Yeah, I, actually, I'm, I'm good. Thanks. OK. Are you in trouble? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> drugs. Do I look like I'm on drugs? Yeah, you kind of do. Karen. You know, I'm not talking about that right now. You guys were, were talking about getting married. We just talk about this tomorrow. <sighs> Thanks for dinner. share this week. I've been invaded and I find myself at the mercy of a power much stronger than myself. My wife's DNA. Her brother. I'm not accepting, I'm not forgiving, and I'm not caring. I know. But by the grace of God, there go I. So we get a knock on the door and uh, there's this man and Worse than homeless looking man, and he's standing dangerously close to my daughter. And I didn't know if he was on something. And my adrenaline kicked in, and it was like nickel, like biting down on tinfoil. I wanted to kill. We've all dealt with dishonesty, and we know what it looks like. Yes, we do. See, I, I worry about my wife and my daughter. And I will protect them until my last breath. Dear Lord, we come to you with thankfulness and hope when we come to you for comfort and resolve. We thank you for letting Harvey share what's on his heart. We ask that you weigh on his heart, Lord, that he bring his brother-in-law to this group into our next meeting. Let him join in the celebration of your holy inspiration. Amen. Say less, pray more. <laughs> Mailboxes, concrete. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah. Bring your brother next time. He's not blood. Well, family's family. Right, right. Thank you, Harvey. Yeah, this is a good meeting, huh? Yeah. It's good. You know you're not alone with your troubles? Yeah. I think it really would be good if you brought your brother-in-law to the next meeting. I think it'd be good for the group. Have your word? <laughs> yeah, you got my word. All right. All right. Hey, you know Mark 11, 15? Mm. Temple's not a place for business. All right. Okay. Good.
morning. Hi. Hi. Hey, you look better. Oh, I feel better. It's nice back there. Yeah. Really cozy. I think we should move in there. Because it sleeps three for one. And it's and mobile. And it's mobile. <laughs> and we won't have to stay here all yeah. the time. And it's so fun. <laughs> so, um, what are you doing today? Uh, I got so much. What about you? What's going on at school today? Well, we have homeroom. Uh-huh. P.E., history, science, and Spanish. Wow. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. I better find something to do. Well, actually, um, Harvey could use a little help around the yard. Oh, you know, I was, I was just about to say that I wanted to help Har Harvey <laughs> about great. around the yard. Yeah. That's, that's great. Um, perfect. All right, let's go. Well... Be back at three. Okay, I'll be here doing nothing but yard work. All right, stuff is in the, the shed. Really we're doing nothing. Oh no. Oh. Wow. Oh good. Thank so you. give me the tour. Oh right. Uh well first you need to be this tall. You just made it. Alright, right this way. So we'll head up the stairs through the foyer and you'll see the hallway. Mm -hmm. Which leads to the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Very spacious. Very spacious. It's like, it's so big. It's huge. I bet you'd get lost in here. I definitely would. All the time. Right here, we've got the kitchen. And off to this side, we've got the dining room. For dinner parties. Yeah, of course. And dinner then we'll parties. cook the food for the dinner parties in the kitchen. Right over here. Right behind you, we've got the bathroom, which I've been told not to use. Definitely do not. I won't. Um, so we'll continue on. Uh, back down the hallway, out the door through the stairs. Watch your head. Oh, thank you for that. Uh, yes, you'll see the porch area. Um, oh, you know, some empty space here on the wall. I'll probably put some artwork up right here. Um, are you taking commissions? Uh, do you know someone that does artwork? Yes, I do. All right, we'll talk. Oh, you'll love this. This is the fire pit. Right here, uh, where you roast marshmallows. <gasps> Yummy. Mm -hmm. And a view of everything. 
like my own little house. Hey, did you know that little house translates in Spanish to casita? So you kind of have like a casita. Yeah, I guess so. That's Spanish. That's really paying off. You're actually learning in school. That's good. I have a really great idea. Uh, well, I want to hear it. It's great. It's awesome. Can I help? Yes, you may. Hold this. Okay. I'm, I'm good at holding. Good. All right. One more thing. What's that? Wow, I do have power. Guess what? What? I have stuff hidden all over here. In all these cabinets? Yeah. That's mine. I think my mom's calling me. Piano, yep. about getting dinner started. What time are you going to be home? Okay. No, I'm I'm getting used to it. It's just that dinner's the only time we get together as a family, Harvey. No, actually he is family and this is about you not showing up at home. Hey, don't be home late, okay? Love you too. Mama? Mama? Can we order pizza at Uncle Josh's house and maybe you roast some marshmallows? Did your mom ever tell you about her styling days? What? Josh. What's that? Her and her, and her friends had a dance group. Oh my god, it was so cool. Yeah, they performed at the mall. Yeah. Over. They were styling. They loved us. What were you guys called? I don't know, ecstasy or something? No. <laughs> they were called extreme. <laughs> extreme. Like a play I on know. extreme. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then we would go at the end of our dance. We'd go, extreme. Yeah.
burn. I'm not. You gotta turn it. It's like you're roasting. You have to turn it. Wow. That's not even that's not even edible. I think you'd love it. Oh my gosh. One time me and my friend burned one for my mom and she actually had to eat it. Really? You got school tomorrow? Yeah, I only get the weekends off, and those are still busy. Mm. Which reminds me, I have to take you in a little bit early tomorrow. I can walk. I know the way. I know you do, but that is not an option. Uncle Josh could walk me. Yeah, I could. It's early. No, I will. I think I can handle it. Probably you think I can handle it? Yeah. <laughs> Can I have one more, Mom? <laughs> it's so hot. Yummy. <laughs> All right, go wash up and your uncle can come tuck you in. Yay. You're a good mom. We're beginning to tune up for a concert. Mary put her hand out the window and held it in the sun. It's warm, it's warm, she said. It will make green points push up and up, and it will make bulbs and roots work and struggle with all their might under the earth. Wow. That's pretty good. Can I take that for you? All right, you sleep tight. Honey. Hey, Harvey. You got set up quick. I'm gonna put it all back. Yeah, you will. You had pizza with my girls last night? Yeah. Let me get that stuff picked up. You walking Pearl to school? Yeah, no trouble. It's a responsibility. She has to be there at 8. That means 7.50. She's won an award for being most on time. All right. Well, I'll get her there at 7.45. Don't get carried away. I don't want her getting there all hot and sweaty going in that air-conditioned room. All right, uh, I'll take care of it. And, I, you know, I'll finish up the yard, too. There's a leaf blower in my garage. All right. Oh, hey. I uh, need you to go to a men's meeting with me tonight. Men's meeting? Yeah. Be down there at 7.30 at the bottom of the driveway. You sure you know the way? Of course, I've walked it so many times. I could do it with my eyes closed. Oh, really? Prove it. Close them. I'll direct. To the right, keep going straight. Keep going straight. To the right, 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 to the right. Oh, you're in the bushes. Sorry. Close your eyes for 10 seconds. 10 seconds, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Aha! Pearl?
Pearl? Hey, Pearl! This isn't funny, Pearl! 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 This isn't funny! Come out right now! Hey, you... I I'm sorry. You can't do that to me. I was just hiding. Me and my dad do it all the time. I I'm, I'm sorry. You scared me. I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, we'll be there in an hour. Yes, ma'am, we have the rock already in. We ordered it. No, it's here, ma'am. I, I have it right now. Yes, ma'am, we'll be there in a minute. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Goodbye. Hey, don't break them. Put them down easy if you're going to be... So that's the red mailbox right there. Yeah. All right. I think I got it. You have to know that to be able to go home to school All or right. to school. <laughs> Noted. Oh, get on this side. Whew, that was good. I like that teacher. All right, I know you have to go, so call me. Harvey Hill. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Looks good. How's the mailbox holding up? Oh, real good. Not leaking or nothing? No, no. You did a good job. Okay. Okay. It's for you. Thanks. Okay. way. My mom doesn't like it, but I really like it. Mmm. I love it. It's, it makes it almost sparkling. All right. <laughs> Let's, oops. There we go. Thank you, Pearl. Let's say grace. Okay. Right. Earth who gives to us this food, sun who it makes, makes it ripe right and good. good. Dear earth, dear sun, by you we live. Our loving thanks to you we give. Blessings on our meal and our family and friends. Mm-hmm. 
The feast shall now begin. <laughs> mm. No Harvey? He's at work. Oh. He works late a lot, huh? Well, that's how it is when you start your own business and you have to make your own money. Are we going to the men's meeting tonight? Mm-hmm. You want to go? Ooh, too much farting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Girl, you guys, not at dinner, <laughs> That's, no. Not at dinner, Pearl. Definitely not at dinner. Pearl! <laughs> No, 21 gun salute, no. <laughs> eat your green beans, now. Come on, eat, eat, eat with your silverware, thank you. Mm, that's great. Thank you. Lord, we thank you for bringing us here together. You are the vine, we are your branches. Let us bear fruit, grow with each other, through each other, for you. Amen. Amen. It's the kids. Everything used to be about me and her. I went from living with my best friend to living with the mother of my baby. I don't know where I fit in. I feel like a stranger. I work, I coach soccer, and I sleep. I sleep on the couch in the, in the guest room now. And I feel lonely. And I worry. Sometimes I think about just getting up and walking out, living a life somewhere else. And uh, that makes me think I don't deserve to be a father. Thanks for listening. Oh. I flipped somebody off the other day. When they cut me off, it's an old lady. <laughs> well, I felt bad about it. Just wanted to say it out loud before we ended. I'm sure she understood you, David. <laughs> Josh, do you have anything you want to talk about <clears throat> tonight? Uh, I guess I'd just like to thank Harvey. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for bringing us here in fellowship tonight with our brothers and our brother-in-law. We ask you to keep us safe this week. We ask these things in your name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, very nice to meet you. It's nice great to meet you. Well, thanks for sharing. Thanks for coming. Hey, thanks for having me. Very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Hey, great to meet you. Glad you're here. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming. Oh, pleasure meeting you. Next time. Great. Come on. I can, I can get that. Come sure. on. Yeah, thanks. Right. One last one. Thanks. Thanks for the cookie. Come on back. All right. Then she ran lightly across the grass, pushed open the slow old door, and slipped through the, and slipped through it under the ivy. She had such red cheeks and such bright eyes. That permission slip that I oh. What permission slip? For the horseback riding this weekend. Supervised? No, Harvey, they're gonna let a bunch of kids ride horses unsupervised. Okay, here I'll sign it then. Cool. 
I get you on horse someday. Oh, morning. So, uh, but I just was about to head to school, and I just want to pop by and see if anybody else might be going that way. I am. I, as your father, will be taking you to school today. Daddy, no. I want him to take me, please. Please, okay. Daddy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I give you permission to take her to school today. Mwah. Oh, gotta go. Oh. You ready? Here you go. Let's go. I'll go. carry these oh, for you. All right, come on, guys. Let us, let's go. We don't want to be late. And I think I know the way. All right. You know, I haven't seen Kevin over there. Hmm. Saw hospice. Hmm. It's really terrible. Hey. Hmm? When was the last time we were living in this house together? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Look. Uh, look, I, I, uh, this work is killing me. I gotta get ready for this retreat, okay? You understand. Sure. Where are you gonna go when you leave? Yeah, I don't know yet. Are you gonna go live with your dad? Uh, I don't think so. Mama won't talk about granddad. Uh, some things are hard to talk about. When you're scared to talk about them. Yeah. But when you don't know how to love, sometimes it's better not to be around the ones that love you. But you don't need to worry about that. You're surrounded by a lot of love. Yeah. When you're coming back, just remember, reverse all the landmarks when you got the directions. Oh, gosh, where are we? Just kidding. back this time. Yeah, barely. Uh, put some fresh towels in there for you. Uh, you thanks. need anything washed? No, I'm good. Oh, good. I gotta go. All right.
Hi, Karen. This is Crystal, Josh's sister. I'm calling to let you know that Josh is at my house. This is my number and I'd love, I'd love to talk to you. Hey. Hey. What do I owe this pleasure to? I just coming by, checking on the concrete. Make sure y'all haven't been driving on it. Oh, we won't. Where's Rick? He's inside, asleep, watching TV. OK. Bye. Bye. Looks good. What happened? Nothing. Feeling more at ease? What do you mean? From yoga? Oh. Yeah, yeah, actually, I, I feel, I feel good. Yeah. Something you need to tell me? Nope. I don't believe you. Something's off. Should I get Pearl from school today? No, Harvey's gonna pick her up. He, uh, he took off a little early to get ready for his trip. And he's gonna need the camper pretty early in the morning, too, so. Just a heads up. Hey, I'll be in there in a minute. Okay. Hey. Just want you to know we're over here. If you guys need anything, just let us know. He died. What? He died? Yesterday morning, he died. Oh, I'm so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I must miss him. I do. I do. Knock, 
knock. Hey, come on in. What is that? Dinner. Really? What are you having? You and my mom are having girls date night. Really? A little dancing, drinks on the town. No, just dinner and yogurt. Hmm. That sounds good. Are you leaving? Oh, not just yet. But your dad needs a camper tomorrow, so I gotta get my stuff together. Pearl, we're leaving. Oh, I gotta go, but don't you dare leave without saying bye. Hey. I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> Have fun. I will. Where are y'all going? We're going out. Girls' date night. I left the sandwiches in the kitchen. You gonna go get yogurt? Mm -hmm. Oh, here. Put a couple of them on the counter when you get there. Okay. Hey, bring me one back if you can. Okay. Bye. Be careful on the. Pretty good sandwich. Yep. You get one too. Yep. Kevin died over there. He and his wife been over 29 years. Now she's a widow. That's heavy. That's real heavy. Sorry. Yeah, I'll be all right. Need to go on my retreat and think about some things that matter. You always go to the same spot? Nah. I like to mix it up. There's tons of different parks within an hour here. Huh. You been figuring some stuff out? Yeah, I have, Harvey. My daughter's a big fan of yours. One thing you don't want to do is disappoint a child. Understood. You left this in my truck. It's the worm. Did you get everything out of there? Yep. Come give me a kiss. I'll be praying for y'all. Bye. See you later. Hey, you mind if I move it in the treehouse? Of course not. Let me take this. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Got him. All right. Mind if I borrow the car today? Sure. Um, I have to get her from camp at three. Do you, do you want to pick her up? Not a problem. I'll really? be there. Yeah, I'll be there. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Pearl, you have to come get ready. Thanks for the pictures, Pearl. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> that one's me? Yeah. <laughs> Uncanny. Look at that. Pearl, <laughs> come get ready. Bye. Yeah, I'll see you later.
Hey. Hey. All right. You sure it's okay? Yeah. All right. Three o'clock? Got it. I'll be early. You have the address? I do. Okay. All right. Hey, thank you. Yeah. This is a uh, perfect time. How are you? Karen, I am so sorry. It's, it's disgusting. It's embarrassing. Come here. Oh, I'm 
so sorry I wasn't there. It's okay. Earl, go brush your teeth. Crystal, I just outside. What is wrong with you? You let a child walk home by herself? Do you know how pissed I am at you right Crystal, now? I just I lost track of time. You were supposed to pick her up at three. I should have never trusted you, Josh. I'm the idiot for trusting you. Look, I would never put Pearl in danger. Well, you did. Is there anything you want to tell me? I talked to Karen. She told me. You know, if you want to be like our dad, you're almost there. You abandon your child? You, of all people, abandon your child and then you come to my house and you want to hang out with my kid. That is disgusting. Well, at least I didn't marry someone like Dad. <sighs> yeah, Josh, it's hard. It's hard to be married. It is hard to have a kid. Every day of my marriage is hard. But you know what? At least Harvey's here. He's here. Pearl, go inside. Inside, Pearl! I'm sorry, Pearl. Yeah, she thinks you're a good guy. You're not a good guy. what you said to him. He's really a good dad. Pearl. How's it going? Are you mad at me? I'm sad. I'm, I'm, I'm pissed. I'm, I don't know what I am, Harvey. Going on my spiritual retreat, it, it, it wasn't good like it was before. I'm never going again. I don't care what you do, Harvey. I could care less. I talked to Karen. She and Josh had a baby. You know what Pearl told me today? She said Josh was a good dad. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? He walks her to school. He, he has conversations that she wants to have. He plays games that she would like to play, Harvey, and he listens to her. And I work. Yeah, it's always something, isn't it? Your work, your retreats. Your men's meetings, you're not even religious. You care more about Kevin and Alice across the street than you do about us. Why don't you come up with dinner tonight? I'm done. La 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 How's school going? Great. Yeah? Mm-hmm. What are you learning? Anything? Yeah. What about horseback riding? That's great. How's the painting going?
I'd like for JT to pass his hat around. Sometimes a person would rather curl up and die than accept any help from anyone. Well, sometimes it's up to us to recognize and provide that help. Because I know of such a man. If you can contribute, that's great. If you can't, I understand. Sorry, I'm late, guys. Excuse me. Well, you're just in time. Take a seat. Oh. Let's pray. Lord, we're grateful for this circle of men here. And we're grateful that you're here with us and for us. We are all brothers. Let there be no judgment. Let there be love. Amen. I'd like to share. That's OK. Go ahead, Josh. You know, secrets, they don't stay secrets for long. They always find their way to the surface. And people know. <sighs> Truth is, I'm a coward. I ran out on my girlfriend and newborn baby. I just snuck out without a word. Went to the only place that I knew would have me, Harvey's. They took me in, no questions asked, and I took advantage of that. Brought my own problems into their home. Now my sister, she wants nothing to do with me. Doesn't want me around my niece. And I deserve it. Never want to disappoint a child. Isn't that what you say, Harvey? Yeah. And as much as I'd like to blame my dad for everything, I got no one to blame but myself. I can't change the things I've done, but I can try to make up for them. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Oh, yeah, I got one more thing. Uh, since I'm being honest, I've been clean for almost a week. That feels good. And, uh, Harvey, I broke your lawnmower. That's why the lawn's not finished. Go practice piano. up a collection. Oh, I couldn't, Mr. Bowden. You don't take care of that baby. Every shade of purple, every tint and I hue will. of crimson, and its happy days, flowers had been tucked away to every inch and hole in its corner. Ben Witherstaff had seen it dead, and he had himself scraped out mortar from between the bricks of the wall and made pockets of earth for lovely uh, clinging things to grow on. Iris and white lilies rose out from the grass in the sheaves. The green alcoves filled themselves with amazing armies of blue and white flowers, tall uh, delphiniums, or columbines, or orchids. 